The pumpkin's flashing. What's she gonna do? I'm gonna cry. Whoa! Oh my god! <laughs> Guys, I thought I was done for the day. I thought I was done filming Halloween stuff for the day. And then I remember there's a Halloween city right here in Fairlawn. So we're going to go over here and see what kind of cool stuff they have in there. Hopefully they'll still have some animatronics and things like that set up. Maybe some uh, air-blown inflatables. I'm seeing people go in that door, but I think this is the door we go in. Boy, is it windy out here. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm excited. The first thing I see right here and right now is the animated Billy from Saw on a tricycle. <laughs> okay, let's check it out, guys. Please work. Oh, come on. All right, the chick works. I haven't seen this one anywhere else. That's pretty cool. Look at her blue eyes. Could you help me find my dolly, she said. I wish Billy worked, man. What a disappointment. Oh well. Okay, before we do any more of the animatronics, let's go over and look at the inflatables right here. Wait a minute. Do we have a corpse bride right here? <laughs> All right, it says clap to activate. Crap, one of my hands is utilizing the phone. Okay, hold on, let's see if I can pull this off. There she goes. Oh my gosh, she rolls around the floor, guys. <laughs> that is awesome, look at that. She's on like one of those Roombas or whatever you call it. That is hilarious. Okay, watch, she's gonna come rolling back around here for us. Oh, she stopped. The rolling corpse bride. All right, well, let's look at the inflatables over here. Look at us, they got a lot of awesome stuff over here. The first thing is this sweet clown. Look how huge he is with his spinning buttons. I bet that's things, he's gotta be 10 or 12 feet tall. And I don't see him amongst the boxes here. But that is awesome, that is easily my favorite thing in here. And I just started. <laughs> oh my god, that's awesome. Okay, let's see what else we got. We got the three little ghosties telling the stories around the campfire. We got a bat coming out of a pumpkin. We got the Skelebones dragon, and then this dragon back here with the flapping wings. I think we saw that at the one in uh, in Canton, in the old Babies R Us. Then we got the spooky tree. Oh yeah, it's the spooky tree with the uh, Slenderman fingers. He's pretty awesome. I just wish that he had some uh, jack-o'-lanterns on him, as well as the spooky ghosts. I love the spooky ghosts. Okay, let's see what else here. We got a pumpkin reaper here. And then this is one of my favorites, obviously. The Demogorgon from Stranger Things. That is so cool. I would love to buy that. <laughs> and then we got this giant inflatable ghoul back here. He goes all the way down to the floor. That's, that, that's also got to be about 12 feet tall. It's huge. What do we got here? Oh, we got the animated faceless nurse. I would love to see that one actually set up and working, but I haven't found it anywhere. Oh, and here we got the uh, the pumpkin patch, but they don't have that one blown up over here, so. This is actually a really, really good looking store. Everything is set up. They've got uh, even more animatronics over here. The Pennywise stuff, we'll go check that out in just a minute. But look, they got all this stuff set up really, really good. It's organized really nice. Except for this guy who's basically falling apart. <laughs> the Slim Man, that's like the Slender Man. 
he would be creepy just to have like on your pathway for trick-or-treaters to see as they as they come up to your house as they approach here we got uh, oh I didn't even have to clap and she's sitting on top of the headstone there animated lonely Laura That's pretty creepy. Okay, here's one I've wanted to see working. Wait, let me move the uh, the spider here a minute. I've wanted to see this one working, and this is the first place I've seen her set up. Carly Carver, please work. Dang. Okay, here we go. The pumpkin's flashing. What's she gonna do? Whoa! Oh my god! <laughs> Oh my god, that legit just scared the living crap out of me. It's been a while since one of these scared me. Because I've seen so many of them in action, but I've never seen her set up and actually working. That scared the crap out of me. Okay, let's see if our furry friend spider works. Yep, here he comes. <laughs> I love that guy. He's so furry and soft. Okay, then we got these chicks back here, but I don't... Nah, they must not be set up to work. They play patty cake or something like that. Okay, then we got this other black one here. Kind of looks like he's already... No, he's not working. What's this go to? I don't know. All right, we got these three up here, which I can never really understand. You can see one light inside this one. But they don't really do anything except for make a little bit of noise. And their faces are lit up. Which might be spooky at night. I don't know. All right, let's see what's this. Oh! That was pretty creepy, and it even set up the corpse bride. <laughs> he reached around, and it set off the corpse bride. Holy crap. All right, and then we got the nun over here. We also had to clap to activate this one. Let's see if I can clap my chest. Yep. She is so creepy. That's all she does, but that's enough, man. Look at those eyes and that face. Holy crap, that's creepy. What do we have over here? Oh, a little rocking horse Rosie. Got some giant hangers over here. These are the kinds that you like hang above so you have to walk underneath them. Although, wait a minute. Okay, that one's not working. What about this one? Not working either, please. Dang, none of these are working, what the heck? Oh well, they look cool anyway. Looks like they got the whole collection here. How do we get, ah, oh, okay. Oh, come on, please. Here we go. This is one of my favorites, actually. That's one of my favorites. He takes forever to react, and you can't really understand much of what he's saying. But the eyes and the face look so good, and that always scares the crap out of you when the arm jumps up. Now this one, I don't know how we get him going. Ah, here we go. There he goes. Oh look, half of his balloons are deflated. What does it say? I love dairy. I never noticed that before. Okay, let's see. Here's whatever you call this thing. I don't remember. But I've not seen this one actually set up and working anywhere. I guess it just roams around the room. And then... Oh, they got a bunch of these in stock. And here's this one I've not seen set up anywhere either. I'm really surprised at how many of these they have in stock. Apparently he just pops out of here. I don't know if it's fast or if it's like slow, you know, just, just to go in and out of the chimney or whatever the heck that is. Pretty cool though. Oh, they've got tons of Pennywise stuff here, like tons of different kinds of costumes and stuff. Oh, here's the, the door knocker thing. 
One of them's working, but oh, it's back there somewhere. We got the Chick It. Oh my god, it's the Chick It costume. Pennywise wig, that's the older one. Whoops. Here's one of the masks. They got some shirts. You'll float too. Looks like all of those are. Oh, that's a crap. That's a Jason shirt back there. Here's the uh, the full costume. What the heck is that? It's a big plastic mask. I wonder if that's like a light cover, like goes on your front porch. Look at the balloons. I've not seen these anywhere else. Time to float. Sweet dreams, bevy. Yeah, those are all the same. I haven't seen this either. Time to float banner. That's made out of cloth, too. Look, they got a whole bunch of different kinds of masks here. Here's a totally different one. Here's the old style one. And this one. What the heck is up with this? It's, that's another one, but that hair looks more like the Golden Girls. <laughs> Oh, I see. This is a full outfit. It includes the jumpsuit with attached boot covers, which would be those. The mask and the ruffled collar. And the mask is just a plastic mask, and it's got some tissue paper over it. That's why it looks white like that. That's kind of weird, but okay. Here we got the classic Wolfman mask. I love that. That looks so cool. And I noticed on the end we had something... Oh... Frankenstein. We got a pretty cool selection of ghost face stuff here. Oh, what the heck? I haven't seen this thing anywhere. This is from Scream 4, Groundbreaker. That is awesome. Eight bucks? What? That might be sold, baby. We got a couple of different Scream masks here. That one's actually smashed. Press and hold. Not doing anything. What about this one? Ooh, look at it. He lights up around the eyes and the mouth. That's pretty cool. I haven't seen that anywhere. Here's a pretty good looking saw mask, actually. Huh. That's pretty cool. Michael Myers from Halloween 2, but it's the one with the plastic. Every mask I touch comes off because that little thing is torn there. <laughs> This is cool. It's a headless horseman costume, but it's got the head stump. Holy crap. I've never seen that before. That's cool. This one is strange. I haven't seen this ever. It's just like a fabric Michael Myers mask. It goes over your head. This is Chainsaw Massacre. Trick or Treat. Silent Hill. Blazer with blood all over it. I don't think I've seen that anywhere else. Lots of different kinds of morph suits. Look at this one. <laughs> it's like the American flag. Oh my god. Camouflage. Look, we got some Teletubbies over here. I've only seen those in, in one other store. The whole Scooby-Doo gang, including Scooby. My absolute favorite reptar. Look at his shirt. It's the Golden Girls. Stay golden. <laughs> Look at the floor here. They have tile, and it must have been carpet over here. I was trying to figure out what kind of a store this was. Then I noticed up here on top of the door it says Golf Smith. I've never heard of that before, but... Curling bug. It's a ladybug. Oh, and then here's the, uh, the honey bee again. Lots of people looking for bee costumes. Here's another one that's a little bit more conservative. I haven't seen a good Chewbacca mask anywhere, but that's a pretty cool jacket. Furry Chewbacca. Here's a child's uh, almost full Chewbacca suit, except for the mask. It's a plastic mask, which is kind of lame, but the suit is okay. <laughs> got some dog costumes. Look at this. We got a shark. Whoa. And I like this one down here. Fresh popcorn. <laughs> I swear, I'm going to stop touching stuff because it all comes off. Oh my gosh, guys, look. We have a Forrest Gump hat. Holy crap, it says, I just felt like running. That is awesome. Look at this one. This guy looks like Nick Swardson. Here's a couple I haven't seen, guys. A giant inflatable panda. A giant sloth inflatable. 
And look at this, Astro Near, it's a bubble suit. I don't think I've seen this one either, a giant fly. <laughs> That's pretty cool, look at that. I think we've pretty much seen everything everybody has to offer in masks. Wait a minute, what the heck is this? A grandma mask, look at the hair. Oh my God, it's hilarious. Nanny Deluxe. <laughs> And what the heck is this, Boils the Clown? That is weird. And here's a Grinch mask I haven't seen anywhere else. Of course, it looks like part of his eye is gone. But it's one of those mouth movers that you wear and his mouth moves along with yours. Okay, I'm not a pop collector, but this has got to be my favorite one I've ever seen. Scott Har Scott Howard. I almost said Harwig because I have a friend named Scott Harwig. Scott Howard from Teen Wolf. That is awesome. All right, guys, I think that's it. I think we've seen everything in here. Plus, my phone is starting to go ballistic with people trying to call me. <laughs> so I keep having to stop filming. But anyways, let's get out of here. That's Halloween City, and this is in, man, Fairlawn, I think. I don't know. I've been so many places today. Halloween City in Fairlawn. There it is. Tell you something smells good.